two ideas are important takeaway from this story. One is you being able to understand another person's experience, what his near death experience must have been like, and how badly it affected him. We all have certain incidences in life which bring out a deep fear in us. Do you have any? In the story, Mr. Douglas has an elaboration of how he eventually fought against his fear of getting into water and to swim in them. He not only got a trainer to teach him the basics of swimming, but also went on to kill all his fear that was deep inside him. His fear of swimming was a deep psychological problem which he overcame step by step. If you read the last page of the story, you will find that once he could swim, he went all crazy. That man started to swim across every lake, pool, canyon or river that he could find. I can guarantee that the same would happen to you if you can overcome any fear of your own. It's an incredible freedom and power that you feel. Let me end today's session with these lines from the story. You'll find this on page number 29. The experience had a deep meaning for me. And only those who have known Star Terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death, there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. Are you scared of something? Can you relate to what happened to Mr. Douglas? That is the second takeaway. I shall hope the explanation made some sense to you. Please remember that you must read the story yourself to understand my explanation. Now that we have ended this part, you are next to complete the chapter quiz to get 5 marks. After that, there are 2 questions of 2 marks each that you have to answer. Frankly, you will have to complete an assignment wherein you will have to answer the question of 4 marks. Write the assignment based on your understanding and reading of the story. Therefore, you will have a total of 13 marks to get from this chapter assessment. Also, don't forget to check out the music video that seems like a great way of visualizing Douglas's psychological fear through dance.